Hello everybody, my name is Rocky and welcome to my channel. This is where we talk about fashion, lifestyle, right here in my city of Chicago in just a little bit of beauty. Today we're talking all fashion and I love to learn and I learned something about you that I didn't know and I'm happy to oblige. You all are really curious about designer dupes so I'm giving you more tea on where to find more designer dupes. So let's get right into it. So my last video about designer dupes has done really well. That's how I know you're curious. And um, what I realized is that I have quite a few designer dupes in my wardrobe, some that I didn't even realize were dupes until I just like later saw them somewhere. So I'm gonna show you some of them. You can judge if they're good dupes or bad dupes or if you wanna get some yourself. What I like to do with dupes is I, got, I get them for inspiration in a way. If I love them enough, I will go and get the real thing. If I get the dupe and I'm like, I wouldn't have reached for it that much anyway, it would have been a waste of money, then I feel justified in not getting the real thing. So I use it as a tester and there, there have been several things that I'll show you that I've ended up going in to get the real deal. In my last video, same thing, there was some that I ended up going to get the real one because I just loved it so much. Let's get into what I have in my collection. So first we'll start with um, a couple of belts. Um, I showed you in the other video a couple of other belts that I already had as well. So um, I somehow <laughs> landed with two Hermes style belts. The very first one um, I got, well both of these, I was um, influenced to get them. Another um, influencer showed their um, belts and where they got them from, so I went to check them out. These are real leather belts, um, but they just are inspired by and look very much like knockoffs. <laughs> so this is the very first one. This I believe is called the H-Pop belt. Yeah, I think it's called the H-Pop. And um, they have uh, various colors. I think this one is slightly different. This is like a really, really old version of the H-Pop because it's like all gold. But the newer versions are sort of lined in gold and the H itself is the same color as the belt in leather. Um, I've worn this just a couple times. No one even noticed it. They were none the wiser that it was uh, Hermes, first of all, or if it was fake or real, because no one was thinking about that. So I, my first thought here is that I can probably do without um, getting the real deal. I think the real uh, belt might be $800. It, it's either $600 or $800. And um, this was, I think, 20, 20 to 23 bucks. So, it's real leather, it has the look, it serves the purpose of cinching your waist in really nice and tight. I don't know that I'm, you know, interested in getting a real thing just yet, but we'll see, you know, how it plays into my wardrobe moving forward. I somehow um, landed on getting a second Hermes belt and it, I got it from Amazon and this one was also 20 or $23. It comes like this and we are unboxing it together because it literally just came in the mail a few minutes ago. This says Lumi sign here on the little sticker label. It comes in a little plastic Ziploc baggie. And again, these, these two, I will admit, are exact knockoffs. These are knockoffs. So this one is the um, Hermes Kelly belt. And it has the little, you know, little Kelly lock that is known for. You, you know what I'm talking about? So anyway, let's take all the plastic, let's stop being brand new and take all the plastic and wrappings off. So um, got all, I got most of the plastic off. I'll have to go back in. So this is supposed to be leather, but touching it, it is not leather. I don't think it's leather. It certainly, I mean, it doesn't feel like leather. It feels more like a plastic or a coated canvas. So one, that's already a strike against this being a good dupe because I don't think, I don't think this is leather at all. But it does have the grain um, that the real one has. It has the same stitching. It has the ability to adjust very easily here on the back like the other one does. The hardware looks very much like the other one. But this is a situation where it is, it looks good from far but it's far from good. Um, up close, I can see like, um, at least on the turn knob of this, I can see brush strokes in the like, sort of the painting or the coating of this silver color. And that's just to my eye. Anybody who were, was looking at me from a distance wouldn't be able to tell. But for, to my eye, I can certainly see like some of that on there. I don't, I've, admittedly never seen either the H-Pop or the Kelly belts in person, so I couldn't tell you how good of a dupe this really is. Um, got my fingerprints all over this. So, uh, 
first impression this is not a good dupe because first of all it's not leather and i can see the brush you know kind of like the paint brush strokes or the metal paint brush strokes in this little knob here um but yeah complete knockoffs not inspired by this is a complete knockoff so keeping with the themes of like accessories and such um i'm gonna actually go with shoes next this next pair of shoes is inspired by, I think I might have, I don't know if I put the name of this down or not, but these were Valentino pumps. I tell this fun story about how I met Oprah, went to the Oprah Winfrey show, a taping of her show several years ago, and she walked by with these uh, uh, Valentino pumps in a, like a turquoise -y kind of a color, and I'm like, Oprah, Oprah, love your shoes. <laughs> Um, and uh, if, if I if I knew that I was the same size shoe as Oprah, I would have like gestured and asked her, could I have them? Because she's known for like giving her stuff away to audience members. Um, I love them so much that I went on the hunt to find some that looked just like them. I didn't readily see anything or find anything, but happened so. One day I was in a Nordstrom rack and I found these Kate Spade dupes. And to me, they look close enough the price was right. I can't remember what the price was, but it wasn't, you know, the $700 at Valentino pump. Now, back then the Valentino pumps were $700. Now it's probably twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. I don't know how much Valentino pumps cost, but nonetheless, these were it. I think these are so stinking adorable, very much inspired, but it's not exact, but very much inspired by that pump. One of the cool things I just realized is that one of the trends for 2024, is that what you're wearing? Yeah, 2024 is bows. So I'm right on trend with the bows, bringing that in for the new year. But I've had this, I, I've had these for like four or five years at this point. Next thing is um, an Hermes ring, Hermes inspired ring. So this one is not an exact dupe. I'm probably gonna have to do a cutaway so you can see this better. We're gonna do a live cutaway because I think that those work well. I'm gonna put this on a little coaster so you can see it. Um, but um, this one is inspired. I got this from um, Banana Republic quite some time ago and um this is the ring i can't remember so it, it would be like a kelly yeah it would i think it would be considered like one of the, the hermes kelly because it's kind of like that kelly lock that you just saw this one is more excuse my nails they're disgusting but this is more of like a um copper copper brass brass oil rub brass kind of a color um but yeah this one is inspired and it's from um banana republic um again I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea that this was um, a dupe until I started to look through the things that I have that are dupes. And when I was looking up Hermes things, the ring came up and I was like, oh, I have a ring that looks similar. So maybe let's put that in. And then just happened to see that one. The next one, um, again, these are H-Pop, Hermes H-Pop earrings. I got them, um, I knew they were, um, I knew they were dupes, but I got them more so because they ha these H's are like my husband's initials. All of these things that have H's on them remind, you know, give me something to think about, like from about my husband, because his name starts with an H. But these are super cute. Let me get in a little closer. These look like a lot like the real deal, even down to the um, the shape of them, the color of them. It looks a lot like the real, real thing here. So. Um, yeah, so these are dupes. These are knockoffs. <laughs> I know the dupe is a cute word or replica is a cute word. This It's a knockoff. So now we're going to get into some clothes. This, this one, I uh, ended up getting the real thing-ish. Um, this one is a, a Play Comme des Garçons t-shirt. And I got this from uh, Shein quite some time ago. So I, hopefully I'm putting on screen the real one, the what the real one looks like. Um, I did end up picking up this one from um, Shein. And every time I wore it, I got compliments about it being a dupe for the Play Comme des Garçons. I, had, I didn't even think about it when I picked it up. I just thought that this was adorable. And um, so once I wore it and, you know, the fabric was, this is actually a quality piece from Shein, believe it or not. Um, and I've had it for, as, Actually, this is part of one of my first few hauls that I did after, you know, coming onto YouTube. So this shirt is six years old and it has held up really well. It looks nice. It's very thick and substantial. Well, last year I got the opportunity to pick one up, what a real one up. Um, and I, I think it was from either 
I think it was from Bloomingdale's and they had a really good sale. <clears throat> so this one is very similar, but I thought I already have the red and white one and it held up really well. It looks good. Why get another red and white? So I landed on this one as more of a neutral color. It's like an olive, gr olive green, kind of a khaki color. It has the heart, but it's actually a little bit more subdued. It's smaller than the one on the, the but the one on the dupe, this one, that's how, that's the size on the real thing. This one just happens to be a different style of the t-shirt. And I got this for a really good price. Um, so one of the things is that, you know, we, a lot of people assume with these luxury items that you have to pay the hundreds of dollars that these things cost. This one t-shirt, I believe, uh, definitely over a hundred dollars for the one t-shirt. I'm trying to remember what the price was, but I, when I got this, this was only 20 something dollars. And it's probably on par with the price that I paid for the dupe from Shein. It's just a matter of, you know, keeping your eye out on these things. There's so many apps out there that helps you track the things that you want and finding you the, good, the best price on your behalf. Or if you're like me, because this is part of my little part-time job here, um, I'm always searching and scouring the interwebs and in-store in person for the best deal. So I always, I seem to, not always, but I tend to catch some really good deals. You guys see that, see that when I do my videos and nothing's different. The next item is um, a clothing item. This is a dupe of, what is the name of the pants? Um, I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember the brand right now, but I had no idea that these were, these are the bottom hems. They're like belt loops and hanging, you know, kind of slouchy here at the hem and then um, the jeans are baggy and they have slight distressing and, and such up here around the thighs and the, the hips. So I picked these up because I saw this on my you know social media feed and was like oh this is so cute this is so adorable and as I was later after I purchased these um, realized that these were a dupe of uh, the jeans and I can't think of the name so I'll put them on the screen but Nonetheless, I found these and was like, oh snap, and then when every time I wear them, I can't take but two steps before somebody's like, oh my gosh, I love your jeans, oh my gosh, that's so cute, oh my goodness, where'd you get that, oh my, oh my. And when they do, because they're, they're not subscribers to my channel, I give them the name of the real one. <laughs> and I'm, I tell them, go pay full price, right? Some people are really cool, some people are really nice. I do have a card to my channel and I do give them a card, you know, and tell them the real thing and say, hey, if you're interested in fashion and you wanna know where you can get good deals all the time, check out my YouTube channel and I'll give them a card. So sometimes it just depends on how you approach me. Do you get, do I give you the goods or do I not? It just depends on how you approach me. But nonetheless, um, this is a pair that I found just actually by chance. I didn't even know um, it was a dupe for, um, uh, uh, a luxury brand of, of, of clothes. So the next one is, and this is our very last one. This one is a replica of the Jacques Mousse dress. This one I saw, I've seen a lot of influencers wearing and I, it feels like it flatters everybody. It's not much, it's not much fabric at all. It's like no sleeves, very short, asymmetrical hemline. The back of it this is the back of it. It is just this string. It's completely out all the way down to the Botox. And it's a very risque kind of a dress. I have not worn this in public yet. I still have the tags on them. I can't figure out where I would wear it to, but I just know that it's super sexy and it needed to be in my wardrobe. I found that replica and the, the brand of this replica is from Urban Outfitters, but it's the Lioness line yeah it's the lioness land for, line from urban outfitters urban outfitters carries dupes too i see a lot of inspired by and dupes this one is not an exact dupe this one is inspired by there are a few details that are not quite the same um but at a distance and for somebody who really doesn't know and doesn't really care they'll think it's a dope dress first and foremost and if they know just a little bit about having by chance seeing the Jacques Mousse dress, they would think it's a Jacques Mousse dress. Um, but yeah, um, I, I look up on these things just like everybody else sometimes, and then uh, other times I go on the hunt specifically for them. Net net, what I'll say is Amazon is your friend. Of all of these dupes, how many of these? I think three, three of these have been from Amazon. And then on my other video, there, have, there were a handful, I wanna say three or four were from Amazon. If you type in the name of the brand and you put in dupe or rep replica, you will find, you know, you will find some things. So if you said Hermes ring dupe, Hermes ring replica or 
Hermes like <laughs> you know you there's all these descriptors that you can put in there and uh, if the person who's selling it or the brand the the seller is good with SEO you'll be able to find find those things with no problem so hopefully this was all interesting to you like I said I learned something new about you all you all are very curious about designer dupes so I thought I'd give you another dose of what you like and comment down below let me know if you'd like to see more of this um, or if you'd like me to even just uh, if you have requests if there's something you've been looking for and you want me to find it for you I'll be happy to help go ahead and leave your comments down below subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button bye